Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're today with the Land Leveler and what this device is used for. I've never had the, the luxury of using one of these because I've always kept a box blade around, and it's not the perfect tool for a road, but it gets the job done. If you've got a really long road, this is probably the perfect tool for what you're going to be using, and if you just want to level. This doesn't have a large containment area like a box blade does. It's got two cutting edges running on diagonal lines here. So what it's going to do, it's going to help it cut and then it's going to let it filter over real easy without letting it build up a lot. So it's going to take the crown out of the road. It's going to keep it within the area here unlike a scrape blade which would let it spread to the side and then you'd need to regather it. So this is really designed for keeping up roads and just leveling in general, not really moving dirt because it doesn't have a back on it like a box blade. So we've never really used this, so we're going to be trying it just like you were. We'll probably have to do a few adjustments. This particular road runs from the end of my paved road to my neighbor here. Uh, there's been a lot of rock put over this over the years. We haven't touched it in probably about five years. My neighbor drives an 18-wheeler for Advance Auto, and so he's in and out of here all the time. So this road's probably about as packed as it's going to get. So we're going to make a few passes here with the operator peanut and just see what it does, make a few final adjustments and see if we can't make this a perfectly level road. And then if we need to, we'll put a fine coat over the top of it when we're done. We'll just see what we end up with. So as hard as this road is, it's probably gonna take a couple of passes. And we're gonna turn up a little bit of dirt into it, but there's a lot of base gravel here that before it's over with, this road should look pretty good. It's just now starting to fill up the front edge. As it gets heavier, it's gonna work better. So we've adjusted the top link just a little bit longer to make the back edge work a little harder. We're getting into a rougher area. It does have some uh, riffraff rock up underneath this, so we may hit some of that. There's some area where the sand's washed across the gravel. So we're gonna blend it just a little bit, but then we're gonna hope to end up with everything with a good top dress coat of just rock before it's over with. So you can see it's taking out the center, which is the highest point. And then this rock is just simply so hard that it's gonna take a few passes to get this loosened up. I think we could make the back just a little bit lower and it would be better. All right, let's try that. See where it's pulling up the most on the left hand side is where the center of the crown of the road would be from the traffic that goes through here. Now it's got it leveled out all the way over to the right and it's starting to leave a level place. Now he's up on the edge of the dirt a little bit leaving a low spot but before it's over we're going to end up with that high spot pushing all the way over and leaving a nice edge on this road. And this is a seven foot grader. Uh, this is about the right size for this tractor because it's just about six feet on the tractor. So even though we didn't loosen this up with a box blade with the scar fires, it's really starting to uh, level up nice with just a couple extra passes and I probably wouldn't use the scar fires just to loosen it up deeper than you need to go now that I see how good this land leveler is working. I knew it would pull out a few of those big rocks that are in here that we started with about 
15 years ago. And this is going to be a perfectly flat road without having to put your rippers down on your box blade and loosen up a lot deeper than you want to go so next time it gets a really hard rain it won't wash like it would if we put the rippers down on a box blade and went six or eight inches deep. It's starting to rain here in North Carolina pretty good. It's uh, about nine o'clock in the morning. It's about 90 degrees and rain. So at least we don't have to deal with the dust. And we're out here in the rain while Kevin gets to stay under the canopy. So I think everybody in the videos really likes Peanut as the operator. He's become kind of famous around my place. People like to come in and see Peanut. That's filling her right in, just making it as smooth as it can be. All right, I'd say that's got it pretty good. When the, uh, when the rain washes the mud off this uh, gray granite that's under here, this is gonna look pretty good. We'll put a really light dress coat on it. It'll look like a brand new road again. And we didn't have to use the uh, scar fires on a ripper to rip it up like Peanut thought we would just because it's been down so long and packed so hard. This will probably be our last pass. This is about five or six passes on a road that hadn't been touched in over five years. And it looks kind of muddy now, but as soon as this rain rinses off all this gray granite rock, it's going to look gray again. It's actually starting to get wet enough that it's starting to clump up and mat up a little bit, so it's definitely going to work the best in a dry condition. 